Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Today I'm going to be running some T4 Abyss and I'm going to actually, I want to discuss with you guys something which is about these new Proving Conduits because the new Triglavian Proving Grounds or Proving Conduits, they've been quite controversial and I want to discuss with you guys with and I think if you have any opinions on this topic with the new Proving Grounds, let me know in the description. It's like, it's, it's bringing a lot of controversy because of how, like pe many people are dissatisfied with or they don't like the fact that these new proving, proving conduits exist and it's because it's like quite different from the typical like typical uh, nature of how events in EVE occur I'll get to that in a bit I'm just going to undock from here because I'm in Gita right now and I want to run some T4 Electrical Abyss so the thing is with these new proving conduits they have sparked a lot of controversy because they act in a different way with how normal pvp occurs in eve so usually you would have like in low sec for example people going to these faction warfare complexes or just people roaming around and then people stumble across each other in one way or another and then they they make they um they battle it out they duke it out they battle it out and you know they have uh, pvp battles that way and the reason why many people don't like the new proving grounds is because it the, many people say that it will potentially take away potential players from this aspect of EVE. So when people go around roaming in low or null sec or even wormhole space, that they'll think that they think that people will be in the proving grounds instead of roaming around in null and wormhole space, and it'll make the space very empty and it'll be very boring. So I mean, this is a very valid concern. I mean, a lot of people really do not like this in the EVE forums thread there's like hundreds and hundreds of messages on the feedback thread how many people don't like this new feature i personally speaking don't really mind the new proving conduits or proving grounds but i can definitely see how it's like it's a it's like a, it's a concern for many many players especially many people who are roaming around and want to and already uh, feel that eve is quite uh, empty because i noticed that when i go into when I go into a low sec or null sec, I was uh, the last time. The main thing I used to do when I was in low sec, or like the latest thing I have been doing in low sec, was these these uh, Edencom uh, research facility sites. And I mean, well, I stumbled across a few people, but that was just because the sites were really valuable. It was still quite empty, and I can uh, I can see like it being a really big concern if uh, it's already quite empty and then if there's even less players then it'll make it even more empty and even more boring in these kind of aspects of the game uh, the reason i don't really mind the new proving grounds well, for you guys who don't know how the proving grounds work it's like it's kind of you activate this filament and you go in a matchmaking queue and then this matchmaking queue makes it so that you uh, queue up and fight it out against a 2v2 cruise or however it is some kind of pvp battle depending on which filament as soon as it's going to be a free-for-all destroyers in a five-man free-for-all destroyer so it'll be a bit different but the point is it's instance like it's not you have to you don't, you don't you don't naturally go out of your way to you don't naturally go out of your way to find a battle it's uh, it's all made for you and that's what people don't like because you know it'll, it'll take away from people from other it's potentially going to take away uh, players from other aspects of the game i like the i i like it in the because I personally, I do not PvP a lot. I'm not, or oh, I'm not like that skilled in PvP. And I, f and often when I go into like low sec, no, uh, no sec especially, then there's all of these like really big gangs, and they're gonna just wreck me, and uh, and th I get wrecked really hard if I'm just by myself. And it just, it, it's not like obviously, it's Eve is not fair. Okay? It's not supposed to be unfair. But it's just honestly, it's just not fun for me, and that really puts me off from going there to, uh, into PvP aspects of the game to begin with, like into low sec and null sec. Uh, I did a lot of factional warfare at one point, and often when I was sitting in the plex by myself, often it would, it's not rare that people would just come in with their three, four uh, man gang and just uh, either kill me or I just run away and then, then nothing happens. You know, it's, it, it felt quite boring to me. So that's one thing I really like about these new proving grounds is that it's like it's a quote-unquote fair fight it's still not completely it's not like fair and that like you can still bring away how expensive ships you want but i don't mind that uh it's the main thing is that like the base or the prerequisites is fair it's like it's always a 2v2 cruiser t1 cruiser it's not like some guy using a faction cruiser against my 
crappy thorax or moa like a gila i guess if that's that there's no way that moa will win and, unless you're extremely good at piloting the so that's something i like i like the aspect that it's a lot fairer and that attracts me to this while i and that also goes to my second point is that i feel like this new proving grounds is attracting players who normally would not spend time or go into like low sec or null sec roaming pvp so like myself i don't usually do that so much and now that this this new content exists i have already been going there quite a few times actually and it just uh, so i don't see, like the the big concern is that this is going to take players away from the already existing content in low sec and null sec but like me personally i would have anyway not gone there it's just bringing bringing in new players to the pvp aspect of the game it just happens to not be in null sec and low sec and that is not then going to negatively affect null sec or low sec because you're not taking away anyone so and i feel like it's a good thing because you're just getting more people into pvp and you're getting people to enjoy this aspect of the game uh, and i just think that's a, in general speaking generally speaking a good thing because you know you always it's always talked about how even is a pvp game and um, often i hear stories of new players just getting absolutely annihilated by um by all the older players or by groups of players and this makes it so that they're on a somewhat more even grounds i mean obviously eve is never fair like you can all you can have a lot bling yes you can i've seen people bring two billion isk t1 cruises into these proving conduits so obviously it's not it's never going to be completely fair but i that's just what eve is that's the whole point of it you know you 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 risk something and you get what you risk but uh, here it's at least on somewhat easier like le more of a level playing field uh, the you don't and uh, there's obviously like skills as well you know you could people could have really good skills and you could have really crap skills obviously you're not going to do as good as them but you know, still it's some is uh, taking the um, the unevenness or the the uh, the it's taking the fairness level to uh, raising the bar for the fairness level slightly that's why I can see how, how I see this and I think that's just a, a good thing for people who want to get into some PvP action but do not want to just get absolutely annihilated and uh, and also something that uh, this has come to kind of like a third point of a hybrid point between point one and two that I uh, is that when I go into like these low sec null sec PvP roams when I say I've d done that in the past then it takes like as I said as the like already concerns is that there's not so many people ro roaming around in low sec and low sec but and th that also makes it qu even worse for people who get annihilated by these big groups is that they spend a lot of time roaming like i remember spending with my friend last year we went to low sec and i was we went t1 cruises he was in a uh, uh, i think he was in like a i think i was in like a mauler and i was in a mower and we were in faction warfare space and we were roaming for like a good hour one or two hours i think it was even uh, clo clo more close to two hours and we didn't manage to find a single guy to have a battle with and then finally uh while we did when we did find a battle it was when i was because we it was so it came to the point where it, we could not find anyone so we uh, i did we just split ways so that we would cover more ground and then when i we split ways then i was in a faction warfare uh plex so i was waiting there and then what happened was uh, four guys and four guys jumped my mower and they were like in uh i think they were they were in pretty uh, beefy ships so one of them i think was in a cerberus or t2 cruiser uh, and it was just a bunch of other other really powerful ships so they not only had better ships than me they also out outmanned me a lot and obviously these guys are probably gonna have a lot more experience than me so it was just basically no match i just got annihilated within seconds and that was not a satisfying experience i don't consider that to be that fun gameplay some people may but i don't think it's fun gameplay to spend two hours roaming to just get annihilated like that while in these new proving grounds you know you know it doesn't take a long time to find it in fact it takes like maybe i think it's less than a minute to find a new uh battle then also the it's it like it's some it's somewhat more even so it can go both sides unless like the enemy is using a hard counter ship but there are some hard counter ships and then also 
if you there are some uh, there's some ships I've seen that just completely fully bling out their ships so hard there's you've not got really much of a chance either but that's like the, the, the fully bling out stuff is not is a rare occasion and you also don't if a hard count is a hard counter you know if if you've got a ship that counts another maybe you'll also come across a ship that will counter that you can counter as well so it's just it makes a lot more satisfying experience and on top of that especially for new players new players it's a big issue i noticed that people care about isk a lot and i mean i think it's something that you should not too care too much about isk but it's still like an important aspect of the game because if you don't have isk you can't continue to do activities in the game you need it to fuel your ships and modules and to be able to replace losses and in these new proving proving grounds you always get some loot so if you do win you get about 30 million so it can easily replace at least one of your ships if you're using a standard t2 fit obviously if you're using a bling fit it won't replace it but you still you get some more of a replacement from also winning this battle as well on top of the module you salvage from the enemy so you get it's easier to continue going as well if you get good at this so that's also an aspect i really like about this you could proving on it but again i understand like the concerns like you know you got these people uh, people already in a aspect of the game that's like in low circle ro roaming that is becoming a lot less popular and then you get this new content that completely doesn't add anything to that and potentially could take away players but i don't see it taking away players and i also see it that like if pe people are going to do what they enjoy if people actually enjoy this that's another point, actually, a fourth point I would like to say is that, and this is also something this streamer I watch a lot, Torvald Urus, he talks about uh, he, a lot, is that if people enjoy it, and even if it does take away, like, I don't think it will take uh, players away from the existing low sec and null sec, but if it does, and if people actually enjoy the new proving ground stuff, I don't see it as a bad thing because people are enjoying the game, and that's the whole point of the game, to enjoy the game. So I don't see that as such a big of an issue. But leave your guys' opinion in the description below. I'd really like to hear what you guys have to say about this. What do you guys think about this? Obviously, you don't have to agree with me at all. Feel free to disagree. Uh, just only thing I would say is, especially I know that they could, I've seen a, a lot on these forums as well that people can say, have very differing opinions. So just please, if you are going, going to comment something or comment on someone else just commented something, just please be respectful. Don't, don't flame people. I, I don't appreciate that. Hmm. So we're almost finished with this last wave here, and it's just a few cruisers left. As you can see, T4 Abyss for me is just so easy. I've run so many of these sites, I barely have to think at all while doing this. And we're also earning the dank dank is you can see him. 36 mil. It's not it's not that good. Um We got a raging electrical, so we got the filament back, but it, I consider 40 mil or more to be better. It's it also not that good in this in this wave right here. Uh, I was using uh, omens and mowers actually in the abyss, these pr new proving grounds. And I thought I felt they were quite fun. But the problem I found in the mower is that I, I was using it as a brawling type of ship. And often I'd come across caracals and they would often kite me. So I wouldn't be able to get to them before they actually kill me. So it was kind of like a. It, it felt really anticlimactic. You know, you think, oh, I'm going to wreck them with these blasters, do 800 DPS. And then they kill you before you're even able to approach them because the caracals they go really fast or they're already at a great large distance from you all right so that's the site done let's let's walk back to jita so that's my opinion on the new proving grounds going i think it's all right i don't think it'll affect the current low sec and null sec roaming and i think also it can attract new players to the game but let me know what you guys think in the description below you know, feel free to comment your opinions below Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.